Hey, what's up guys? So today is day 34 and today we're just, uh, yeah, I know I'm horrible, but today we're just doing zeroing and grouping. And we did Loma. Again, Loma is your location of miss aim of target on a 175 and a 300 meter target, which is painted all white. And it is a good, good location to see how your shooting is. However, uh, like I said, I am not good at, uh, I'm not good at zeroing and, and uh, grouping. So uh, today was a long, beautiful day. This whole week is gonna be just ranges for us because we are in our week six going into, our, or finishing our week six, I'm sorry. So yeah, my voice is still like this. So my few recommendations is like, uh, if you're not a good shooter or whatever, uh, just, um, I had a good DSL uh, helping me out. Again, uh, I, I wish I could give shout outs, but I will not just for, you know, PI and just, just, you know, just to save their, uh, just, I don't want to disclose that information, but I do, I am grateful for them uh, and uh, working with me. But, so I was like the last one off the range doing zeroing and, um, and, and what's called grouping. However, like, um, so my grouping is always good. Like my first few shots are always together. This was my first one. Uh, I was just like, ugh, I had no uh, basic fundamentals. So your basic fundamentals is again, your uh, trigger squeeze, your breathing, your sight picture right and uh the handle of the weapon on your the bus stock of the weapon on your cheekbone so well wherever you come from you know you're a ranger guy or sf guy or whatever high speed unit you're from mm -hmm. just go with the basic fundamentals and do it how they want to do it however again if you're not someone that's a good shooter don't let this get to you because anybody can even folks who are zero and group or whatever might not be able to qualify because we're going to the range tomorrow so that i say is like so once i was you know just um doing this and right before i left it was more closer to the uh to the target i had another one but yeah see all the grouping so uh what you want to do is i recommend is get your um get a lot of markers so you can like, you know, know your grouping. And also if you have a cheat sheet, like your DSL should hand you out this MOA tractor, which I left mine in the classroom. So I was just using my bow buddies and that will help you use uh, your point of target, right? So a great tip, what I also learned is like for your shooting target, like for your target of the, of this right here, you can see how there's like this big Sharpie outlines right here. I recommend using this, doing this to you also, so when you go out there and shoot, like, you know, because when, you, when you're shooting center mass, you know, everything's center mass, but the bullet's not going to be like a magnet. However, the eye sees what the eye sees through the iron side of the rip, uh, ripples. So I recommend, like, before you shoot, uh, you know, just the DSL know, hey, can I just go ahead and color this side right here for me? So it's easy for me to, you know, to aim center mass. I mean, it helped me. It might not help you, but just for folks who are hurt, we're hurting when it comes to shooting and zeroing, right? And if you do not zero within your first 140 rounds, you will uh, get a counseling from the senior. Nothing bad. Don't 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 stress about it. And then you'll 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 get another 140 rounds to uh, to zero. Once the zeroing is done, then you'll go to Loma. Once Loma is done, then you'll come back. But like I said, uh. That's this day when you're the day of zeroing, or if you know, like tomorrow you're zeroing in your in your uh, cycle, get a lot of snacks, get something to do, take your PRT, uh, your PRT step by step process, so uh, you can practice or drill one another while you're waiting, or after you're finished, you could like practice and train PRT among each other because during range week, there's no PRT, there's no pitches, right? So I remember I recommend practicing if you're weak on PRT and the CD1, CD2, the 440 core and uh, hip stability stretches and the recovery drill and the climbing drill. I recommend practicing that and knowing the uh, AI portion of it, all right? Yeah, and um, besides that, uh, I recommend it just take your time, breathe, and uh, do a lot of, uh, it's going to be a long wait. So that's my biggest thing for today. Like again, I just want to give a big thank you to the DSO who helped me out. She knows who she is. She, I'm grateful for her and my bad buddy. Uh, you know, um, you know, he knows who he is. But yeah, besides that, uh, so far, so right now we're in officially um, day 20, 
And after this, I will, after this video, when I'm going tomorrow, we'll be in day 19 left till we graduate. But yeah, uh, if you have any questions or any concerns, just go ahead or just continue. Like, thank you for all those who was following these videos. And thank you for staying with me so far with my horrible voice. <laughs> all right, y'all. Have a good one. Take it easy.